Hey there, how's it going? My name is Zoe Siegel, uh, or Vegan Mental Iron. So, my channel is all about eating intuitively and eating for the planet and eating for the environment. So, Invest Mental Iron, it's all an anagram of environmentalist. And of course, I had to put a vegan in the beginning, so that's where my name comes from. Um, yeah, I am really passionate about the vegan movement and following a vegan diet, a plant-based diet, whole foods, is what enabled me to lose about, I think, 50 pounds now. Um, I was 163 pounds at my highest weight and I was pre-diabetic and I was uh, also starting to uh, have lots of other problems like high blood pressure, blood sh high blood sugar, just a lot of stuff and I just felt like crap all the time and I had problems with just, I don't know, just general lifestyle problems. And I just went vegan as a shortcut to lose weight. I know a lot of other people will be like, I wanted to save the animals and, and yeah, I care about that and I always cared about the planet, but for me, I didn't watch some of the documentaries like Earthlings or um, stuff like that until after I'd been vegan for a while and it was just a temporary shortcut for me until I found more meaning and I think that's okay too. I think plenty of people want to lose weight or they want to have healthier bodies and then after they've already been eating this way for a while it's easier for them to just kind of transition and really examine the more ethical ramifications of the standard American diet when they're not eating it anymore and there's not all this guilt attached to it. So at least that was what I found in my experience. I know it's very different for a lot of other people, but yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little vlog here. This is a little bit little, little about me and I will also show you what I go through a little bit today. Um, and then I will have a little aside later about a journey I will be embarking on and recording and documenting and I'm kind of nervous about it so we'll talk about that later. Okay, awesome. Yeah! This is my little angel, Zazu. Say hello! Normally I would take her out but she's very mad at me these days. Um, basically, yes she's a good girl though. Good girl, you want a treat? You want a treat? Be nice to me, I'll give you a treat. So, my job, it's hard to open one-handed. <laughs> my job is very intense with hours. I work in solar, it's really interesting and I get to save the planet and really good life skills, but I'm, home, I'm gone all the time. So, she has taken anger, a deep-seated birdie anger to me. You wanna be a good girl? Be a good girl. Good girl, I'm gonna pet your little nose, little beak, cheep cheep, and just pet the side a little bit. She knows the treat is coming, she's a good girl. You want a treat? Good girl, thanks for being nice to mommy. Gonna work on our love. But yeah, no, most of the time, she actually uh, will like just sit in my shirt, well, the majority of her life, I've ha she's about three years old, but I've had her yeah, she was born six months before I got her. So, her whole life, most of the time, she's just been living in my shirt and on my shoulder and in my hair and more time with me than in the cage. And now that I'm gone all day, it's just not good for her mental health and our bond, so we're working on it. But she is just a little acrobat and I love her. You're a good bird, baby. Good baby. Sweet baby. Yes. So I lay down on my mat to meditate for a second or just lie here pretty much because I like stretched for like three seconds and I was like, nope, I'm just gonna lie here. Um, but then my boyfriend Dimitri called and he was like, you should come walk to the shop, which I'm gonna do. And the shop is a place where he's gonna sell this kind of stuff. He is a glass artist, that is his profession. And now he's opening a glass shop. So I'm helping him a teeny bit, but mostly he's doing all the things. So I'm gonna rest for like five seconds here and then I'm gonna go. It's fun to work. 
wear vegan shirts when you buy groceries because outreach. Can't forget to turn off this bad boy. My essential oils are not gonna diffuse no more while I'm gone. Bye, Zazu. I'm gonna give her a little kiss. Bye. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Good girl. Yes. He's a good girl. Mwah. So I just got home from Hub City Smokes, New Jersey, which is Dimitri's shop. Um, I filmed a little bit of the groceries that we got. Um, we went to the Natural Foods Co-op in our town, George Street Co-op, which I used to volunteer at. It's pretty great. Um, I just like didn't like film a real whole thing of it, just because it was raining. I didn't want to take the camera everywhere. Um, but I showed you what I got. It was really good stuff. And this I've been working on quite ah, quite nice, delicious stuff. The vegan Robs. I've been meaning to try the um, jackfruit one, but you know, sometimes you just can't be adventurous. You gotta go with the stuff that you know is good. Um, so yeah, we just uh, we we're talking to the guy who's been helping out Dimitri with the shop and some of the lights and they they changed some lights and I kind of was just hanging out and it was fun um so yeah now I'm gonna probably meal prep for my lunches for the weekend tomorrow and you know just probably rice and veggies you know so nothing crazy and this is the kitchen um it's getting dark out already um and this is some cool art I don't know <laughs> all right time to get a cook in this is the rice Keep it all here. This is Nishiki sushi rice, whatever you're gonna call it. And, uh, and I got this amazing Korean rice cooker, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, I got the recommendation from High Carb Hannah. Hers looked like a spaceship, and I really wanted one. <laughs> that was a little bit bigger, so we got it. It's crazy. It he talks. Basically, the power went out, and uh, I haven't changed it back to English because I kind of know the sounds. Like I don't know. I figure I kind of know what it means, but <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right, so we're just going to uh, take some rice. One. There she goes, too. Three and four. Then we're just gonna rinse her off. Excuse the paint. <laughs>
this as well. And I would add an avocado normally, but I am fresh out, so I might make a sauce of some kind, like maybe a peanut Thai sauce. Maybe, not sure. Anyway, that's some lazy meal prep. <laughs> Hey there, so it's me and I'm finally done meal prepping and I'm just kind of hanging out in my room and what I plan on doing until my love comes home is reading and I'm reading a really <clears throat> interesting and entrancing new book and I know it's going to change my life so this is what it is, it's called Taking Charge of Your Fertility and it's about natural birth control, which I always just thought was code for um, you're going to get accidentally pregnant. Um, or, you know, like Jesus or something. Um, but actually, natural birth control can be very scientific if done correctly. And tracking your cycle is a fantastic alternative to taking hormones, which at least... And some of the research I've done look like they're not great for your body in the long term. And I've been on hormonal birth control for 10 years. Um, since I was 16, I'm now 26, so you do the math. Um, and this is the case for a lot of women. Like, when we get our pack of pills or our IUD, which is what I have now, oh my god. <laughs> um, those are even more intense and like, some of the side effects would scare your socks off like oh yeah it might accidentally perforate your uterus and bowel and uh, any internal organ in that general area which is like there's a lot over there <laughs> um but yeah i'm getting sidetracked basically um yeah it's not great but and we all know when we like we see the fine print when we sign up for it but we kind of like let our eyes glaze over and we think to ourselves like what other option do i have so might as well just uh, bite the bullet and because I don't want to be a teen mom or like a mom before I'm ready and uh, yeah there's another way and I'm really excited to be a part of that and to spread that knowledge because I wish I had learned this when I was in middle school um, and regardless like this method may not be for everybody um, I definitely wasn't ready for it in middle school or when or high school or whatever whenever that time was for me I wasn't ready I'm ready now I want to take charge and be responsible for my own um, body and you know it's just a natural next sorry my hair's like crazy it's just a natural next progression for everything else I've been dealing with in my life um, with fitness and health and becoming more conscious of everything I put into my body because it really is a temple and deserves to be treated with respect. With respect. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I'm only a little bit into the book and I have an appointment to have my IUD removed on the 5th. So that is in September and I will be taking some time off of my job um, at a solar company to just focus on this journey and dealing with it um, and healing so I have a whole regimen set up and a whole plan and a whole new alternate way of birth control which I'll talk about in other videos but yeah I feel like I'm just getting started and I'm really excited and I want to share this so this is the dealio uh, thanks for tuning in I guess I'll just wrap up this video now um, Dimitri's gonna come home and we're gonna cuddle and hang and maybe I'll play with this and edit it. I will edit it soon because I've been meaning to do this for a long time and even if only one person watches this, uh, that'll be pretty cool. So thank you for tuning in um, and I hope you're having a lovely day and continue to have one. Thank you.